What's up guys, how are we doing? Today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about complex systems and how it can be broken down in a way that isn't so confusing as some of the literature makes it to be. So today I'm talking about one concept in specific or in particular, and it's called equifinality. So equifinality is the idea that there are many different ways to get the same result, this result being equal. So the concept is quite simple, but it leads to some complex, uh, I guess, thoughts and critical thinking in order to make it applicable. So if there are multiple ways to get one equal outcome, the idea is that there is no single variable that will guarantee prediction of getting this outcome itself. Now, the idea is that if we have, let's say, an injury or even success in an event and performance, an athlete might be able to win that event or even get hurt due to many different factors. And the issue is it's not necessarily the factors themselves, but it's the context of how those factors are affecting each other and the dynamic interactions. For example, I was reading a wonderful paper, and I'll post the link below on this video on the YouTube description, and it was talking about ACL injuries and how it's not necessarily the fact that someone has dynamic knee valgus that leads to an injury, but it could be the fact that the individual has dy dynamic knee valgus, they have hip weakness, and they have severe fatigue due to the performance in an event itself or maybe a training load. And so dynamic knee valgus itself isn't that big of an issue, but when you put it in context with fatigue and maybe hip weakness, along with some other variables, that small change, dynamic knee valgus, can be magnified into an injury due to its interactions with other variables. So if we think about this for performance or even well-being, health, and longevity, we need to think about the body as a complex system with many different parts interacting with each other and understanding how these patterns manifest or emerge in different qualities. So the idea of emergence is when you have all these interactions occurring, which leads to the emergence of an outcome. So again, the idea is that there are many different ways that we can get to the same outcome. That's the concept of equal finality. But how that outcome comes about is caused by the interactions of many different variables in a non-linear fashion. So it means that one perturbation on the system may lead to a larger perturbation, kind of like the ripple effect, and eventually cause a big change which emerges and to say a performance outcome, an injury, better health, a disease. This is the idea, or this is one of the ideas in complex systems. And the next couple of talks I'll be giving, we'll be discussing some other ones that play an important role in understanding how complex systems work and also how they might be integrated into your own professional work. Thank you for listening.